So we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any seat that feels good for you. May you find your position as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Tucking our tummy in at our navel with our spinal cords nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice elongated spine gives us control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, a lot of times people sit in tension. Just relaxing those shoulders down helps relax and soothe the upper parts of our body. Slightly gazing the eyes down or closing your eyes if that feels good for you. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. As we use this time to simply go inward, checking in with self. Taking a moment to notice how we feel in our present moment. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Allowing our fingertips to connect to the earth. The palms are touching our yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Spine is nice and long. As we are using this time to tap into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us. What is going on within. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for you and your practice here today. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads, coming into that star. Our palms are outward towards the side. That pelvic bone is tilted forward. Your chest is lifted, chin is up, breathe in. Exhale, twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder, coming into that spinal twist. Optioning to connect this left hand to that right knee, coming deeper into that twist. With our eyes, gaze down and closed. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming into that star, breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left, palms come down, gazing over that shoulder, spinal twist, opposite side, eyes gaze down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. As we come into that seated salute, palms are together above our heads, but they are not together. They are above our heads, separated, seated salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. As we flow into that seated salute, we're going to breathe those palms together. Exhaling down, palms come heart center, seated prayer. Breathing our palms back up to the side, coming into that star. Exhale into that extended mountain, palms are together. See the salute, palms are together. Exhaling down to prayer. One more time, breathing our palms out to the side, coming into that star. Exhaling into that extended mountain. Breathing to that salute, palms together, interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, shoulders flows up towards the ears, elongating that spine, chin is lifted, allowing those arms to slightly flow towards the back, chest is lifted, you may feel this in your lumbar spine, 
This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms in that salute. Allowing that right hand to come downward towards the earth as our bodies lean to the right. Left arm flows over that head, coming into that side bend. Optioning to gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra when we gaze up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, allowing that left palm to also connect to the earth. As we lean our bodies towards the left, right arm flows up above, over our head, bodies leans to the left, feeling that side bend, optioning to gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms downward towards the earth. Breathe in through our nose. Exhale through the mouth. Eyes are gazed down to close, tummies are tucked in, spinal cords elongated. Shoulders relax down, away from the ears. Two breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into that diamond or that butterfly, we're going to work on our hip flexors here. In that diamond, our feet are further away from the body. In a butterfly, the feet are closer to the body. That's the difference between the pose, diamond, and butterfly pose looks very similar. They are bound positions. As we breathe our hands to our toes or our feet, using our fingers to massage, as we slightly hinge at the hips, just allowing that torso to relax between the thighs. And you'll feel this in your inner thighs going a little deeper here in that stretch. You may also feel it in your lumbar back, your lower spine. And we can option to come closer to the earth by allowing our shoulders to melt forward, closer to the earth. Allowing our head to drop downward towards our feet, if that feels good. Noticing that when we drop that head downward, you'll feel that stretch and pull a little deeper. So listening to your body and only going down as much as you comfortably can. As we take a couple breaths in this hip opener, relaxing and soothing. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our torsos away from the earth. We're going to come nice and wide-legged here. Wide-legged stance. We're going to point those toes downward towards the earth. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. And notice that pull behind the legs and the hamstrings when we hinge at the hips and we can point our toes down or we can point our toes upwards towards the heavens, whatever feels best for you. We can also place our palms on the earth in front of us or we can connect our hands to our knees, our ankles or our toes. As we come closer to the earth, feeling a stretch, feeling a body lengthen here. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Feel in the shoulder blades melt closer to the earth. Allowing the head to drop downwards if that feels good. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling up, we're going to breathe our legs together, coming into a staff pose. Feet and legs are parallel side by side. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. 
Tummies are tucked in at our navel. Shoulders relax down away from the ears as we are gazed forward with our eyes slightly gazed down. Connecting our hands to our lips as we take this time to simply check in with body. Three breaths. Two breaths. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into a seated half forward fold, allowing that torso to come closer to the thighs. You may feel this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Or we could come into a complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet as our head drops downward towards the knees. This here is a lengthening pose. It is a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling, coming into that half forward, straightening that back, lifting up that head. Exhaling back up to that staff, pose back so straight, shoulders relaxed. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that extended mountain, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Breathing our palms together, interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, placing our palms on our laps or on the earth. Backs are straight. Tummies are tight at our core. We're going to slightly position our body so that we can lift our knees off the earth and breathing our knees into our chest. And just holding it there just for a second, you'll feel your core muscles engaging your abdominals. And if all feels well in this pose, we can extend our legs in front of us and extend our arms or slightly bend our knees. Coming into a boat pose, we are working the obliques, we are working the core. As we are gazed forward with their heart chakra lifted, chin is up. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our knees slightly in. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles. And we're going to pound our hands left to right. We're now working those obliques. Left and right. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Keeping that back straight. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, hugging our knees into our chest, straightening that back up just a little. Hugging the knees in, just allowing the body to relax and soothe. Holding the legs towards the chest. Keeping that heart chakra lifted and that chin up. Breathe in. Exhale. We're going to lift our feet up a little more, breathing our knees towards the side and connecting our hands to our feet. Just play around with our hands and our feet. Like we're in a happy baby, playing with our feet like the bear, bear pose. And if all feels well, we have our balance. As our backs are straight, cores are tight, we're going to extend that left leg out to the side. Feeling that stretch in your hamstrings here. Yes, we are stretching and lengthening here today. We're going to hold this pose, keeping that heart chakra lifted and that chin up. Four breaths. Feeling the body balance. Two more breaths. Exhaling that left leg back in. Two breaths, holding the pose. 
As we extend that right leg out to the side, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings, opposite side. Keeping that heart chakra lifted, chin up. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that right leg back in. Our feet are still in our hands. And now we're gonna extend that left leg out to the side one more time, and we're gonna extend that right leg out to the side. Optioning to bend our knees if needed. Or we can keep our legs nice and straight. Whatever feels best for you and your body. This here is a happy baby or bear pose, bear playing with their feet. It's also considered a bolt pose variation. With their heart chakra lifted, chin up, tummies nice and tight and backs are straight. We're gonna hold this pose, four breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our feet inward, coming into a bound position, either diamond or butterfly. Breathing the bottoms of the feet together, slightly hinging at the hips, allowing the shoulders and the head to melt downward towards the earth. Four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling up. Let's use our hands to breathe our legs again. We're crossing our feet and our ankles as we come into a tabletop pose, coming onto our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to drop that tummy down to the earth, coming into that cow pose. Chin is slightly up. And in this cow, we're going to just do a couple of circular rotations here with our gluteus maximus, our buttocks here and rotating our hips as well. And just taking a moment to notice how this feels in that lower back. Doing nice deep circle rotations here. Optioning to rotate your shoulders and your head, your torso into this movement as well. Just feeling that entire body relax and soothe. Or we can just localize it to our hips, whatever the body needs, four breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to find that pause and rotate it in the opposite direction if that feels good. Or stay in the direction that you're rotating. Whatever the body needs. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling the movements here in the hips. We are working these hips today. And we're going to find our pause. We're going to flow into our cat pose. Chin comes to clavicle. Spinal cord flows up to the heavens. Tummies are nice and tight. Exhaling back to cow as we do a couple of cat cow rotations to the natural breath. Two more breaths. We're going to find that pause at table and we're going to breathe that left leg towards the back. And we're going to bend that knee and breathe that left foot up towards the heavens. We are in that tiger pose and you're going to pulse it up and fill in that gluteus maximus get nice and tight here. This is a tiger pose. And we can have a little bit more fun in this tiger pose if we choose by connecting our left or right hand to that left foot. I'm going to connect my right hand to my left foot. That feels best for me and my body right now. Now we're in that tiger pose as well. Modification. And you'll feel it stretch. Or we can simply just keep that leg up and feel that gluteus maximus get nice and tight. Or we can take the right hand to the right foot. See that there? That's also another tiger pose. We're just going to hang out here for a couple breaths. Working at gluteus maximus, working the balance. Four breaths. <clears throat> Two breaths.
exhaling out, let's come back to that table. We're going to drop the body down to cow. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale to cat. Coming back to that table as we extend that right foot towards the back. We're going to bend that right knee, lifting that right foot up towards the heavens. And we're going to pulse that gluteus maximus up and down, filling that nice tight buttocks here. And this here is our tiger pose opposite side. And we can option to just hang here and just squeeze that gluteus maximus. Or we can connect this left hand to that right foot or the right hand to the left foot. Whatever feels best for you and your body. I'm going to do left to right this time. We are in that tiger pose. Hanging out here for four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to tabletop. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to that table, we're going to keep that gluteus maximus nice and high in the air. And we're going to just come slightly wide-legged. We're going to breathe that torso downward towards the earth with our arms, palms extended in front of us. Palms flat on the earth. Puppy pose. Allowing that torso to come downward towards the earth. Allowing the forehead or the third eye chakra or the cheeks to connect to the earth. Here in this puppy pose, you may feel this in your lumbar spine. This is a relaxing and soothing pose. Allowing the eyes to gaze downward or close. Using this time to go inward, checking in with self. Noticing how we feel. They're right here, right now in our present moment. Five breaths of silence. We can option to breathe our palms over our head, coming into a prayer hands in our puppy pose, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Flowing into that child's pose, allowing that buttocks to simply just relax between the thighs. The buttocks comes towards the heel of the feet. Child's pose. Noticing the difference how the child's pose and the puppy pose looks very similar. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Eyes or gaze downward or closed. Five breaths. Two more breaths. With our palms extended in front of us, arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Using our palms to wave our buttocks forward, using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. You'll feel this in your spine. Three breaths, two breaths. We're going to find that pause at center, coming back to that table just for a second here as we push the body up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Tummies are nice and tight. Optioning to walk that dog by pedaling the feet left and right. Finding that pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Building strength in the upper parts of our bodies, the arms, shoulder, baby, shoulder blades, back blades. Exhale, back down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold, 
This here is a full body stretch, allowing that head to melt downward towards the earth. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale up to half forward fold. As we yogi walk our feet, these slightly apart, coming wide legged or slightly wide legged here. And we're going to just simply rock or sway that body from side to side. Noticing how that feels behind the legs and the hamstrings. Gazing forward, backs are straight. Two more breaths. We're going to find that pause. We're going to come back to that wide legged forward fold, complete forward fold, optioning to come into a rag doll, connecting the hands to the elbows. Still in this body, extend and lengthen. You may feel that spinal cord separating, getting nice and elongated. This is a full body stretch. Optioning to rock and sway that body from side to side. When we rock and sway, we'll feel that hamstring pull just a little more. Five breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming into a half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward. We're going to walk our hands forward, breathing our feet back, down dog. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet left and right. We're going to find that pause here. We're going to breathe that right foot to that right hand. We are in that runner's lunge, right foot to right hand. And fill in this pose here. Runner's lunge. We're going to relax on that left palm. We're going to extend that right arm up in the air. Fingertips flows towards the heavens. Coming into that twist. Revolve, lunge, twist. And we can option to take this right hand and wrap it around our backs and gaze in over that right shoulder. If that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Twisting that body back, come into that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, our pedal on our feet, left and right. Tummy sit tight. We're going to find that pause. We're going to breathe this left foot to that left hand. Run his lunge. Opposite side. Feeling that stretch. Feeling the body left in here. <sighs> With that right palm flat on the earth, we're going to extend that left arm up in the air. Fingertips flows towards the heavens. Bodies are twisted towards that left thigh. Revolve, lunge, twist. <sighs> Optioning to wrap this left arm around our backs. Gazing over that left shoulder for a deeper twist. Or we can stay extended here in this twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, twisting back to that runner's lunge. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Let's drop down to our dolphin, coming in onto our forearms. But axe is high in the air. We are gazed at the back of the room. Dolphin pose. Mm. Optioning to pulse up and down in our dolphin pose. Pulsing up and down on our feet, on our toes, shall I say. And just notice how it feels when we pulse up and down in the dolphin. <clears throat> Two 
Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees. Let's come back into that puppy pose, keeping that buttocks nice and high in the air. Extended puppy pose. Arms are in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Extended puppy pose. Or prayer hands, puppy pose, breathing our palms together and flowing our palms over our heads. So extended puppy or prayer hand, puppy. Four breaths. Let's make it five breaths of silence. Optioning to flow down to that child's pose, if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. Final wave in our bodies out of that child's pose, puppy pose. We're going to find that pause at center. We're going to come flat on our bellies, just laying flat on our bellies, coming into a space pose. We are on the forearms and we are flat on our bellies. Spanx pose. In our Spanx pose, we don't want to be shrugged, meaning our shoulders close to our ears. Lifting our shoulders or lifting our ears, having control of that body, not being shrugged. Shoulders are away from the ears. That back is straight. This here is a slight back bend. Spanx pose. Maybe our palms are together in prayer hands in our Spanx. Maybe with that heart chakra lifted and that chin up. Slightly gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. As we use this time to go inward. Four breaths. Two breaths. Allowing our bodies to collapse to the floor. We're going to come into that Superman, Supergirl, extending our arms in front of us, flowing them in front of us like we're swimming, making that swim, lifting the thighs, the feet off the earth. Superman, Supergirl, that heart shock was lifted. That chin is up, gazed forward. This is working our gluteus maximus, the backs of our legs, our backs, our arms. <sighs> Four more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose. We're going to swim my hands towards the back, lifting our palms upwards towards the heavens. We are in that locust pose, slightly squeezing our back blades together in that locust. We are continuing to work our backs, our arms, our gluteus maximus, our legs. Chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. Four breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to hold this locust pose and we're just going to relax, coming into a sleeping locust, coming onto our third eye chakra, our forehead, allowing the shoulders to also relax forward. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward, connecting to the earth. Eyes are gaze down to closed. Four breaths. Two 
slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, lifting the body, the legs, the arms off the earth, foreheads off the earth, chest is off the earth, locust pose, four breaths, three breaths, two breaths. As we flow into a bow pose, we can connect that right hand to that right ankle, left hand to left ankle, or one side at a time. And we're going to use our hands to lift our torso even further off the earth. We'll feel this back bend. Our heart chakra is lifted. Our chin is up. Working the gluteus maximus here. Backs, arms, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down, relaxing the body. We're going to swim those hands in front of us, coming into a sleeping crocodile. Stacking those palms on top of each other and just relaxing our cheeks or our forehead on our hands. As our shoulder blades melts forward towards the earth, allowing the eyes to gaze down to close. Five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly coming up, back into that sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are not shrugged. They are away from the ears, having control of that back. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Two breaths. As we take a nice deep breath, exhale, rolling over to our backs, coming into that recline position, onto our backsides, hugging our knees into our chest. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, aka waterfall pose, with those toes pointing up towards the heavens. And we're going to reach down and breathe our legs closer to our torso. Optioning to connect the hands to the feet if that's accessible to you. And we're going to slightly lift that gluteus maximus off the earth. Feeling this stretch in the body. Two, let's make it three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back up, the legs on the wall. As we become wide-legged, allowing the legs to flow to the sides, feeling this stretch here in the inner thighs. <sighs> Optioning to connect our hands to our ankles or our feet. If that feels good for the body, we can also breathe those legs slightly over the head. If we're able, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Breathing our legs back in, legs on the wall. Slowing our knees to our chest, happy baby, nice and wide legged. Legs come out to the side, feet are up in the air, happy baby pose with our hands connected to our feet. Maybe play with our feet, lifting our feet up and down, up and down, feeling this. Or we can simply just breathe our hands between our thighs, breathe them out, and connect our hands to our feet. Here in the happy baby, we're just going to have some fun. Optioning to rock, sway that body from side to side on the earth, using the earth to relax and soothe that spine. If that feels good, happy baby, may we freestyle here. Five breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths.
Exhale them out of that happy baby. Breathing those knees into the chest. Breathing those legs together. Knees to chest, legs together. Hugging them in. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Knees flows to the left. Feel the next spinal cord soothe and decompress. You may even feel it crack a little as we extend that right arm out to the side. So knees are flow to the left. Right arm is out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can option to gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder. Allowing those shoulder blades, the back blades to connect to the earth as much as we can. Body's completely relaxed. Mind is settled in ease. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. We can even option to extend that top leg out to the side and I will twist if that feels good. Seven natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. As our knees flow towards the right, spinal twist, recline, spinal twist, knees flows to the right, filling that spinal cord soothe, extending that left arm out to the side like a lowercase t, optioning to gaze up at the heavens or over that left shoulder. As we allow our shoulder blades to come close to the earth, fill and the shoulder blades relax and melt into the yoga mat. With the eyes gazed down and closed, we can option to extend that left leg that's on top outward to the side if we choose. As we use this time to go inward, silent meditation, seven breaths. Three more breaths. Hmm. Exhale back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Extending those legs down to the side. Legs are parallel. Side by side, as we breathe our arms above our heads, interlacing our fingers, maybe walking our shoulders closer to our spinal cord, kind of like we're squeezing the spinal cord, coming into that full body stretch, nice and elongated. Our bodies look like a lowercase l, nice and long. Our heart chakra is lifted off the earth. Our shoulder blades, we walk our shoulder blades to our spine to lift that chest off the earth, to feel that full body stretch, optioning to point those toes downward towards the earth. Four breaths. Two. 
two breaths. Take a nice breath. Exhale. Breathe in those arms inward. Let's untuck those shoulders away from the spine. Just relax in the body just for a second. We're going to walk those legs slightly out towards the left. And then we're going to cross this right leg over that left. We're going to walk our body towards the left. Using our shoulders to walk that body. Coming into that banana pose. The body is shaped like a banana as we extend those arms over our head. Arms come towards the left as well. Our body is in a banana pose. Feel in this side stretch. Lifting that torso away from the earth. Lifting that chest away from the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Walking the body back to center, uncrossing the legs, using the shoulders to walk our body to center. As we walk our feet, legs slightly towards the right, just a little, and we're gonna cross this left foot over that right. We're gonna use our shoulders to walk our body towards the right, torso towards the right, feeling that side bend with our arms above our heads, interlacing those fingers. We are in that banana pose Opposite side, feeling that stretch in the side body. Torso, our heart chakra is lifted off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, walking our shoulders towards the center, uncrossing that feet, keeping our arms above our head. We are back into that lowercase L. Interlacing our fingers, let's walk our shoulder blades towards our spine, lifting that chest off the earth, pointing those toes downward towards the earth, feeling that stretch, breathing. Exhale. Maybe hold this for two more breaths. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath. Exhale, lifting those knees into the chest, breathing our hands inward, connecting our hands to the lower legs and lifting that body up, feeling that core, the abdominals working here, lifting. And we're gonna pulse it, pulsing the legs to the chest. Just feeling that core, working the abdominals. Gaze forward. Six breaths. Two, no, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Bonus. We're going to hold it. Feel a burn. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relax. Legs are parallel. We are in that resting pose. Shavasana. Legs are parallel side by side. Shoulder blades are connected to the earth. Palms are at our side of our bodies or relaxed on our chest. With the side of our feet connecting, we're going to allow our feet to just flow to the side, fall to the side, allowing the legs to completely relax. Gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Still in the back, become one with your yoga mat. Clearing the mind, relaxing the body. Eight breaths of silence.
Two more breaths. As we roll on our side, coming into a fetal pose, hugging our knees into our chest, using our arms to relax and soothe our neck, acting like a pillow. Fetal pose. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Four breaths. Slowly wiggling the toes at our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips. Using that top hand to lift the body up off the earth, optioning to stay close to the earth if you choose. You don't have to come to a seated pose. We can stay in our laying position if that feels good. Those who are seated, find any easy seat that feels best for your body. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. <sighs> Spinal cord is elongated. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Tummies are tucked in at the navel. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As our, as our palms come to heart center, or we can relax our palms on our lips. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and teaching training here today. For it truly, truly was a blessing to be here with you all. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.